Hello, people of the internet. My name is George. And I'm Preston, and we have some new stuff to show you this week. Uh, but before we get to that, um, we just want to let everyone know that our Kickstarter has uh, come to a conclusion a few days ago, and it was just an awesome success. You guys really rocked it, and I just want to say thanks again to everyone who backed and who, uh, you know, shared the project with their friends and. It's just so awesome to be able to, you know, to do this uh, full time, and, and we're beginning that transition, um, and uh, you know, moving to a new environment where we can uh, really just uh, focus on this game and, uh, you know, get it to you guys as, as uh, quickly and as uh, as uh, well as we can. Absolutely, and very soon we're going to be launching our, a new version of our website, along with our official forms. So we're working on ways so that all the backers for the Kickstarter and through PayPal. We'll get their appropriate badges and, and ranks on the forums and access to the secret areas and all that stuff. So that should be uh, all sorted out probably next few days and should be all automated. So basically, it should be pretty cool. You'll just be able to sign up with your Kickstarter email and you'll instantly get your badges. So uh, cross your fingers, hope it works, but I think we think it will. So for this week's devlog, we have uh, some new stuff. You want to talk about it? Uh, yeah, sure. It's not uh, nothing too crazy, um, but uh, yeah. So uh, in one of the earlier dev vlogs, we mentioned that we were uh, going to try doing uh, mining in the game a little differently, and we mentioned uh, mining facilities. So uh, I tried I tried to take a crack at building one of those. And as you can see, this asteroid it looks a little different. One, it's very it's a lot larger than uh, most other asteroids. And two, there's like some blue details on it to kind of hint that it's like full of tritium, I believe is what we're calling the, uh, the element or the ore. And as you can see, there's a, uh, a mining facility built into the asteroid because we thought that would be really cool. <laughs> and uh, it's all done by hand, you know, where, but the built in, there's like going to be like a cave system, you know, depending on how deep they got into the asteroid. And they refine the, the minerals here as well, and you can uh, stop at one of these places and uh, refuel, or uh, potentially even attack it if you wanted to, <laughs> if you're uh, if you're brave enough, um, and pot potentially yeah, like take it for yourself and uh, take all the, uh, the tritium, um, and hopefully that they, they uh, you you know you can disable uh, their systems before they uh, send out a distress call, and uh, you get in trouble. <laughs> Uh, and they send people to, you know, come and take care of you or something. But, yeah, we're, we're pretty excited to, you know, we like the idea of, uh, we ju I just like the idea of something like, uh, you know, big man-made installations built into something organic, like, you know, this giant asteroid, and, you know. We thought that'd be pretty cool to see, and I I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, but, uh... Yeah, it looks really cool. So, also, you'll be showing, uh, some concept there? Is that right? Uh, yeah, we did a... Um, we'll show you that just in a minute. Alright, uh, so this is a... Uh, I recorded myself uh, drawing a piece of concept art for about an hour. And I think it's uh, sped up by like 4,000%. Um, but what I'm drawing here is uh, an early look at perhaps one of the uh, player hubs, the entrance to uh, one of the, the hubs. If you don't know uh, what the hubs are, they're basically uh, small towns, basically that uh, you know players can uh, go to and trade and accept missions and uh, various things like that. And um, they're probably going to be the least procedural part of the game. Um, their location will change based on every galaxy, but besides that, they'll probably remain fairly similar in each playthrough. Although the missions might change and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I kind of wanted one of the hubs, there's gonna be a, a couple different ones, but I wanted one of them to have, like, a cool, uh, like a really cool looking entrance, so it's kind of like a, like a rock wall that's, like, really large, um, and these cool flags kind of, uh, highlighting the entrance, you know, uh, and you go through, like, you know, this large crack in the wall, and, um, it's, it's, it's quite large, I think. In a minute, you can you can get a better sense of the scale, but um, but uh, yeah, so I was pretty happy with it, and you know, just thought we'd uh, show you some more of the two D art stuff, in case you were interested in that. 
Cool, cool. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, as we get into development, we should be able to show you some really cool stuff. So thanks again for supporting us on the Kickstarter. And very soon, uh, when the website relaunches, you'll be able to pre-order the game on there for anyone who missed it. So, uh, and we'll be also continuing our stretch goals. So basically, the Kickstarter stretch goals will still be working toward those with the pre-orders. So. Yeah, and um, you know, the, uh, in regards to those stretch goals, they might come out later after the game's released. But you know, of course, you know, we, we, uh, we love working on this game, so we, we don't have a problem with that. Uh, and we're, we're excited to, to perhaps hit a few more of those. So uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>